Hey everyone, welcome back to CAD Show, and today, I've got 20 for essential SketchUp tips and tricks focused on basics and shortcuts to help you become more efficient and skilled in your modeling. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to brush up on the basics, these tips will set you on the right path. Let's dive in. All right, let's get started with our first tip. Number one, orbit with the scroll wheel. Use the scroll wheel to orbit around your model without switching tools. Just press and hold the middle mouse button. Number two, pan with the middle mouse button. Hold the middle mouse button and press the shift key to pan across your workspace. Number three, zoom extents. Press shift plus Z to quickly zoom out to see your entire model. This is handy when you lose your model off the screen. Number four, use the space bar. Switch to the select tool quickly by pressing the space bar. It's a simple yet powerful shortcut. Number five, line tool shortcut. Press L to instantly activate the line tool and start drawing lines. Number six, rectangle tool. Press R to activate the rectangle tool. Click to set the first corner, drag and click again to complete the rectangle. Number seven, circle tool. Activate the circle tool by pressing C. Click to set the center and drag to define the radius. Number eight, arc tool. Press it to use the arc tool. Click to set the first point, second point, and then drag to create the arc. Number nine, push, pull with P. Press P to activate the push or pull tool, allowing you to extrude faces. Click on a face and drag to extend it. Number 10, offset tool. Press F to activate the offset tool. Click on a face, then drag to create an offset of that face. Number 11, lock axis movement. Use the arrow keys to lock movement along the red, green, or blue axis while drawing or moving objects. Number 12, tape measure tool. Press T to activate the tape measure tool. Use it to create guidelines and points for accurate measurements. Number 13, dimensions tool. Add dimensions to your model by pressing D. Click on the points you want to measure between to place the dimension. Number 14, Protractor Tool. Press Q to use the Protractor Tool. Click to set the center point, then drag to measure angles or create angular guides. Number 15, Hide. Unhide objects. Right-click on an object and select Hide to temporarily remove it from view. To bring it back, go to Edit, Greater than Unhide Greater than All. Number 16, Group Objects. Group objects to keep your model organized. Select multiple objects, right-click, and choose Make Group. Number 17, Component Creation. Convert objects into components by selecting them, right-clicking, and choosing Make Component. This makes editing easier. Number 18, Layers or Tags. Organize your model by using layers. Go to Window Greater than Tags to create and manage layers, then assign objects to them. Number 19, Outliner Tool. Use the Outliner to manage complex models. Go to Window Greater than Outliner to see and organize all the groups and components. Number 20, Quick Erase. Press E to quickly switch to the Eraser Tool. Click on Edges or Faces to erase them. Number 21, Rotate Tool. Press Q to activate the Rotate Tool. Click to set the Rotation Center, drag to set the Rotation Axis, and Rotate. Number 22, Move Tool. Press M to use the Move Tool. Select an object, click, and drag to move it. Number 23, Scale Tool. Activate the Scale Tool with S. Select an object, then drag the handles to resize it. Number 24, Customize Shortcuts. Go to Window Greater Than Preferences Greater Than Shortcuts to customize your own keyboard shortcuts for frequently used tools. And there you have it 24 essential SketchUp tips and tricks to boost your efficiency and accuracy. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to CAD Show for more SketchUp tutorials. Have any questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.